Hey, this is one of those videos that you'll either agree or very much disagree with. It's to do with hero banners, and I often get asked a question about how much content should I put on there, and that's because some of us are kind of hard-coded or hardwired into thinking that your hero banner needs to be like the example you see here. You have a big image, you know, full width stretching across the screen, it might even be full height as well. You've got your main headline, we've got hero banner there, you've got a subheading and then you have a call to action button. You can have more than one call to action. But what I say to people is don't always assume or think that that is how your hero banner needs to be. You need to think about your content. Now in this example here, the image is quite dominant in a way, you know, it stretches out, there's lots of background going on there, it is a busy image. And maybe it's being used to reinforce the wording. Because sometimes the wording might not be massively powerful or impacting or impactful as much as you would like. So you're trying to back it up with an image. Now, this is the most common way of how people tend to do things. And I think you'll agree with that. Believe it or not, it's actually okay to just have an image. Maybe you don't need any words until you scroll down. Maybe the image is so powerful in the message it portrays or it connects with the user base that you could get away with it. Now, I think you all know who I've got over there right now on the second image there. But if you imagine you went to a website that was dedicated to them or the universe or whatever, and that was there, I'm pretty sure you're still going to scroll down, right? Maybe a famous actor, actress, maybe a singer. Could be anything like that. It could even be a product. Like, a, like, you know, like a brand new trainer from a very well-known manufacturer. You could get away with that. Be careful, though. If you are not very well-known, okay, don't assume you'll get away with that. But it can work for you. And the third style could be no image at all. Maybe you just have a massive statement. I hate these kind of statements. I'm going to make you lots of money. Don't go for that, but I'm just trying to get it across, okay? If you're Googling and you're like, oh, I need to make money from home. You know, I really need to earn something. You've probably already clicked on the link, right? I mean, if this message was there, there isn't a call to action button. There isn't even an image. There's a bit of color on there. You're probably still going to scroll down. So sometimes an image alone can be great but also no image whatsoever. It's kind of a little bit weird, isn't it? If you go all the way back to the very first image that we had over here, these two are so, so different, but it can happen. And then the fourth one we've got is now similar to what we had in the first image, but we have a very plain and simple background. There's not a lot going on there. The image complements so maybe you're a consultant or a web designer or an agency or you work in finance and you just want to let people know who you are kind of thing. Your headline doesn't have to say, I'm Imran Sadiq, I'm a web designer. You could be talking about the problem you solve, uh, the services you might have, something like that, something that gets across why you're a good fit for whoever's come to your website. But you might want to back it up with an image of a website or an image of you next to a website. But what you're not doing is this, what we have over here where you have a full on background. You don't have to do that. By the way, you could do this with a colored background. So when I say don't have a full width background, I'm not saying it's gotta be all white, but it could be gray, it could be black, it could be orange, it could be red, whatever you wanna go for. But what you've really gotta think about is the context of the image and the wording to what you're trying to get across. If your wording is really, really strong, you don't need a full width image. If, however, your wording is okay, but you're not sure if it's gonna fully connect or make sense to whoever's looking at it, then you might need to back it up with an image. But I just want you to know that you can mix it up. Okay, when your client comes to you and they're telling you the wording, don't just automatically go, right, we need a full width image. Think about what you've got and how you're going to make it work for them on a hero banner. And I'm not a massive fan of videos or sliders on hero banners because they can affect your page speed performance. But if you really, really, really want to have it, go for it. I just don't like to go for it. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.
never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.